What's going on dudes, boys and girls, friends and viewers, people who I do know and I still do not. My name is Colossus, welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we're taking yet another look at Volstead. I've already taken a really like in-depth look at him back when he was first reworked and even before that kind of explaining his um, his all of his kit and all of the all, not all the changes but most of the changes I went all I want I went all over his three builds um, but today I wanted to focus on the Colossal's fucking lightning build why is it called that well it's called that because I consider myself to be the father of this build I consider myself to be the first one who actually brought it in who explained what it's good against why is it good and why you should use it and how to use it and um, <clears throat> i believed in this build way back even before it was even viable uh, i believed even before the first rework i believed in the in the build even when the talents for the w were still colliding with each other on the same talent tiers when they were underwhelming i believed in that build and i do believe for it i do believe in it that's, is that how you say it? I think so. I do believe, I do believe in it, to the end of the way. I don't know. I don't know where, where I was going there. <laughs> um, but also, what I want to check today is how did um, how did the change to his cooldown on his flight influence his impact on um, any games he's in? How uh, am I go like me? I, I'm almost level twelve with uh, with Falstead. How Will I actually notice the change in uh, in waiting for the cooldown? Uh, am, uh, am I going to notice the maybe the change? And maybe I'm going to have to be more careful when I use my um, <coughs> my flight and stuff like that. Uh, so we're gonna jump in, and without further ado, let's take a look at Falstead. Let's fly. Well, right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on one of the best maps for Falstead ever to be added into the game. Dragon Shire. The Dragon Infernal Shrines. <laughs> the, the, the Dragon Shire map um, it very, very heavily uh, relies on, you, on your team or the enemy team having global presence. So we have Brightwing, we have me, and we have... Um, actually, those are the only two... two Globals in this game, I think. What, what do they have? Yeah, I have one global. I have a bright global. Um, so our Q ability is a straight line skill shot in, in front of us. What it will do, it will just deal damage on both ways, front and back, uh, because it will, it will travel front and back. And it's also going to slow whoever it hits by 25% for two seconds. My W ability is called Lightning Rod. It's very hard to explain, but actually very easy to understand. You. Point and click at somebody, they take the initial damage, which is the greatest, and then after they take that damage, um, they will take about 75% of that initial damage uh, every second for 4 seconds after that. Um, which is, I, I guess I'll just show you, I guess that will be the the easiest way of doing of doing things here. Our ability is one of the best uh, mobility spells in the entire game, it's called Bearer and uh, it allows me to kind of... Um, Dodge in a certain direction, kind of like kind of roll in, in a certain direction. Also, afterwards, giving me a very very substantial shield, just adding to my mobility, my survivability, and just the overall kit of um, uh, of Falstead. We did lose our Sonya down in the middle. Um, honestly, I think it's much more important to actually get it. Like, look, the enemy was losing XP in the top. Well, like they got killed, but they were losing XP in the top and bottom, and they are massively, massively behind in XP at the moment. I'm gonna try to grab this shrine before Alarak's new. Hi, Alarak. Hi, Al Alarak. Why are you, why are you doing this right now? Oh fuck. Okay, Zarya wants to kill me. So the enemy team will. We'll just pick the easiest dragon of my life. I think that's the easiest dragon I've ever seen in my life. A minute and 45 and the enemy team picks up a dragon knight. Okay. Ugh. So those are our abilities. Our uh, trait is called Tailwind. What it allows me to do is to um, kind of become faster uh, when I do not take damage for six seconds. Uh, so I'll, I'll, just, I'll just move faster. 
Okay, Brightwing, I mean, if you want to... Oh, 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 Jeff had a combo? Jeff had a combo? Jeff had a combo? Okay, she's not, she's not gonna combo. I'm just gonna fight up, don't mind me. And that's why he's so strong, because he can just rotate to a lane so quickly. On level 1, we picked up Wingman. Uh, what it will do for us is basically a revamped, uh, revamped, not revamped, but kind of a kind of bribe with added functionality. What it's going to do for you, it is going to... Um, every time you kill a minion, it gives you a stack of bribe, up to 80. Uh, and for every 20, you can actually bribe a mercenary. Uh, which is, uh, you, you don't have to fight it, you don't have to kill it to actually to, to serve you. You can bribe it and it's going, uh, and it's going to be like basically there um, waiting. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna, I'm, I have to be careful because if Alara comes here, dude, I'm, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, dog. Like, fuck you, Alarak. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what it will also do, how it, how it, it also distinguishes. Um, from any other um, from any other other bribe out there is that for every single bribe mercenary you will get additional uh, lightning rod damage your W ability exactly what we will be speaking for just nuts boy it's good it's real nice oh my god how did that touch me right, we have to we have to grab top now oh dude No, sorry. No. Oh my god, sorry, I got fucking pulled. I'm trying to start a step. I'm trying to start a step. Baby, are you okay, about bottom? I'm, I'm gonna come to you. I'm gonna come to you. Just, just keep her off. Just don't die, but keep her off. I'm flying into the bush. I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm going. I'm going. Holy shit, yeah, babe. Don't let your dreams be dreams, babe. And that's how you get that's how you get kills. You basically go back, you refill yourself on health and mana, and then you just F up that Valor. That's how you get kills. On level 4, we picked up Static Shield. What it will do for us, uh, give us it, it will give us um, basically a 4% back as shield whenever we Oh, where are you going, Lee Ming? Oh my god, he just saved her. He just... This motherfucker just saved her. Um, yeah, basically, so w whenever you strike somebody with your W, whenever you know, whenever you apply damage with, with that ability, you will be getting a little bit of a shield. Maybe you have to grab it. Because Val is grabbing uh, bottom. Um, on level 7, we picked up Charged Up, which allows us to increase the amount of strikes that we do with our W. Um... Oh god, I'll rock and Valar here. I can't do anything! I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to help my friendly team here to get some kills. Hi! I can take some damage for for, for the Zarya to, to just stack up on, on the damage on the on the on the shields. I'm here, bro, I'm here. Yeah, Brian's dead as fuck, dog. Yeah, so it gives us two additional charges. Plus, it also increases our effective range of our ability, of our W, by uh, by 25%, allowing us to really, oh baby, allowing us to really stay close to, um, allowing us to stay further and safer while we actually try to keep people in the range. Now I can just, now I can just uh, kind of back up. Okay, I'm gonna back up now. I'm gonna back up. Uh, to half because I have still got four seconds. That's that should be approximately the same um, time it's going to take me to actually do this and then fly bottom. Maybe I'm flying bottom. Almost. Now I'm gonna fly middle. Fucking grab it, bro. Yeah, we gonna get a kill here on Alarak. Come on, get him! Yeah, that was, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I know I went silent there, but I really tried to try hard that shit, dog. I tried to try, try hard. And uh, we got the, the, our first D night of the game. I'm gonna actually go back grab Sippy, real quick, yo. 
um, yeah, so it's just gonna allow us to stay much safer while actually keeping people in range. Uh, this this build is all around keeping people in range of your W because then like the more this is behind us, this is behind us. Hello, surprise, motherfucker! All right, watch out, watch out, watch out! Be careful, be careful. Uh, Ten seconds on my gust. Um, he actually did not pop that Counter Strike. That was weird. Ouch. Yeah, so as long as you keep somebody in the range. As long as you keep somebody in range, you will be good. You will be basically doing your job. And let's back up now. Because I don't think this is good. I used my Gust to earlier, it seems. I'm just gonna use my best ability in, in the in the biz now. Now we can just use a ringman. I stuck through throughout the entire game and now I can get a 20% increase in my damage, which is just crazy if you think about it. We're gonna pick up something that gives us the biggest, I think, one of the biggest um, power spikes in the entire game. Not just not just Volstead, but the entire Ooh, that's that seems like some, some some nice. I'm afraid to fly. I'm afraid to fly. I feel like it's gonna kill me. I'm coming. I've got seven seconds on my um, on my gust. I don't think it's going. To, no, it's not going to be needed. It's fine. I'm just going to stay close here to my to my healers. Oh crap, Reno! Oh crap, Reno! Okay, I'm good. We got healers. We got healers. Oh babe, good roots, babe. Yeah. Alright, let's back off. Uh, Alright, that's gonna give me some time to explain some more abilities. <laughs> just just a, a little bit of a setback here. Uh, Mighty Gust! We, that's one of the strongest abilities in the entire game. Hindering Blast will not even compare. Ooh, it just, ugh, it's just so bad compared to Mighty Gust. Mighty Gust allows you to kind of gust the air in front of you, like the, the, your bird that you're flying on. The, the Griff, I think that's what it's called. Um, allows you to just blow the air um, in front of you. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. Why are you doing damage to me? And push people away, also slowing them after after you actually push them for um, for a little bit, allowing you to <laughs> allowing you to 100% disengage or just set up so many plays you can split you can split the enemy team by doing so you can uh, maybe let's say the butcher becomes unstoppable when when he charges so when he charges you just um you just gust everybody else away the butcher just stays uh, stays kind of uh, singled out same with the stage dive stage dive you know of course you will see when the stage dive comes and people will try to follow up on it um if it doesn't follow up like um for let's, let's say for example uh, ETC is, 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 is uh, stage diving in, and ETC is stage diving in, and you um, you see it, you know, you see that that they are that, that ETC is coming in. You can gust everybody else away. Let ETC actually stage dive right in. Oh, 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 oh! Hello, hello! Oh, bye! Get off of my point, bitch! This is my point. This is my point. Airy, is going, we can go for Airy Gust here. I think that's what it's called. I'm trying to catch up to Johanna, to, not Johanna, but Vala, rather. I'm gonna fly it down. Oh, fucking shit. Hello. I miss Pulse dead. So you, you can see how much damage we, we, we did to that uh, to that Alarak. Even though he had a shield on him from, uh, from Daria, so... I'm gonna escape from her. I'm gonna apply my th thunder strikes to him. Ooh, we have to be careful. Just keep auto attacking. Keep auto attacking. Keep auto attacking. Keep auto attacking. That's the name of the game. We got Sippy. Okay, Sonya's here now. Let's let's capitalize on that on the on that out of uh, out of God damn it. Let's put the enemy team here. Ooh. 
That was close. Not close enough, bro. Oh my god! This this Li Meng wants me really bad. Let's fight, bitch. Get wrecked. Baby, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the D, the D knight. Your enemy shall. All right. So again, this um, this uh, town build allows me to just stay so mobile while also dealing damage because like I'm I'm able to deal damage while I also um, while I just move around. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm trying to keep the W on onto somebody while also moving, uh, which is obviously very very good. I'm gonna kick, kick this guy away. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna waste this D knight. If you wanna stand in it, baby, I'm gonna watch out, watch out, watch out because they're all coming here. They're all coming down up, up and over here. Hi. Just gonna move in. Get out of here, Alarak. Why are we stacking? Why are we stacking? No, no. Okay, 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 okay. There we go, and we just disengage. As easy as that. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's, let's, get, let's get this camp. I have two stacks. That means I have like 30%. 30% additional running road damage. It's really good. Yeah, so again, it just allows you to stay mobile while you fight. You don't have to stand wise. You, you, you don't even have to stutter step if you don't want to. You will still be dealing damage. That's that's what it's all about. Like For example, let's say you're disengaging from an Illidan who's, who's really on you. Well, you don't have to anymore. You, you don't have to stay. You don't have to stand. You don't have to stop and stutter step because you have the lightning rod damage. The lightning rod damage will, by the way, chew through his evasion, also allowing you to, to deal damage. Because like if he pops evasion, like even if you stutter step, you're just losing your you're just losing your time. You're just losing your time. There's there's no reason to stutter step against an illusion when he pops evasion. By the way, a very good strat. If you're doing a camp, put your W on one, uh, on like one Merc, and then basically, and then um, put, and then start or attack on the other. It's just going to deal damage uh, to two different targets that way. Ooh, there's so many stacks, dog. I like it. I like it a lot. Just give me all them stack remains right now. I'm gonna like, actually keep my W here. I'm not gonna use it on uh, to clear out this uh, this minion wave because it's because we have so first of all so many people and second of all because. Ooh. Let's all go bottom, let's all go bottom. Uh, by the way, top is getting a bit pushed. We just have to be careful. We do have level 20. I'm gonna pick up the epic mount, which is gonna allow me to reduce the cooldown of my Z ability, of my flight ability by 30 seconds um so it's, so it's going to become a 25 second cooldown plus it also will allow me to fly almost instantly almost instantly keep destroyed. we just gotta keep out of that <laughs> we just gotta keep out of that boys that's that was easy that was the easiest keep in my life i think now we just have to get middle now we just have to get tap and i'm gonna go middle and actually i'll try to defend against this lee Ming, this lee Ming gizzle yeah, what up, bitch? That's my number right there! That's my number. You can see how quickly we can burst down. A Lee Ming! This Alrak is out of position! And he's gonna be taken out. And I think this is game. If As long as we just push this lane... I, I, I mean, we can go top and, and you know just be like pro, all pro and shit, but... We're not all up in there. We're not all up in there. I'm looking for a play here. I'm looking for a play. That play, exactly that play, allowing us to clear out the bright wing, basically not allowing the enemy team to get any heals right now, and we can just we can just do that. We can just just hit the core, just hit the core. Name of the game, best false stat EU right here. Did you? I wasn't even the best. Zarya did the most damage. Holy crap, she did she did ton of damage. Holy. Yes, yeah, so definitely not the highest damage build, but 
weird. It's just the utility of this build that that's what's good. Um, the enemy team wasn't that heavy on the front line. That's why I mean we didn't get that much value. We didn't get that much damage out of the build itself. But you saw at the end we kind of scaled up, and we were able to get a lot of value, get a lot of damage out, and also use the gust to our advantage. But also. Just kind of, you know, just kind of like again, deal damage while moving. I didn't, I didn't have to start a step. I just have to get, I just had to keep them in my, um, in my range to to keep dealing with damage. Um, uh, I'm gonna explain the build again. I, I, I don't think I went over the level 16 talent, so uh, I'm gonna do it now. A wingman again, bribe, but it will also give you damage on your W, which is exactly what you want. Level 4 is Static Shield, more survivability when you're using your, your W. Again, just allowing you to kind of be a little bit more ballsy with your plays. Because you do need to keep enemies within your range. If you just strike them with the first one, it's not going to matter too much. You know what I mean? It's not going to matter too much. On level 7, we went for Charged Up, which increases the amount of strikes. Kind of synergizing with the entire build, plus also increasing the range by 25 percent this used to be 15 percent now in the latest patch i think they increased it to 25. not in the latest but i think the one before variant uh they increased it to 25 which is just crazy it allows you to really really stay like at range at range to somebody you're hitting but still deal your damage it's really good in that way uh level 10 we would go for mighty gas because of all the plays you can make with it it's actually 40 percent slow decaying over four seconds so it's still pretty goddamn like long time uh, 13 we did go for thunder strikes increasing the damage every single strike every single strike so again just synergizing with a level 7 talent which gives us two more strikes so the two more and also with a level one talent for with the, with the wingman of course the percentage damage will also scale up with the thunder strikes so again really really strong 16 we did go for 80 gas what this allows us to do is to stay even more mobile uh, this is will this will reduce the delay of the tailwind so from six to three seconds and also will also will increase the movement speed you get from 15 to 25 just kind of even further increasing maybe your ability to stay in range of somebody and maybe chase them a little bit of course given that they do not damage you and and all the other stuff but also gives you a very very good disengage let's say for example you don't want to wait for your disengage for six seconds you want to wait only at a half of that which is three seconds so again, just gives you a very good disengage if somebody's not uh, you know, not poking you down. And a level 20, we did go for Epic Mount, which gives us just that. I think it's, I feel like this is the best level of the 20 talent right now. Just because of the increase to, I did, by the way, notice the increase in, in the cooldown. Um, so this video will be like a test. If I would actually notice the increase of the cooldown, and I do. I, I wasn't able to fly as much and Epic Mount just helps out with that. It reduces the cooldown to be 25 seconds. It used to be 15 seconds, which is just crazy uh, when you think about it. Plus, uh, when you uh, when you saw at the end, I pressed Z and it almost instantly I flew. Wh whereas in the in the early game, you know, before I pick up the epic mount, it was a very kind of slow process where he kind of wound up and then he kind of you know, just kind of flew uh, across the map. So again, super strong ability, uh, epic mount. Uh, this build went so many through so many iterations. I, I remember the first iteration. Uh, it, like I think only two talents were like W, w and then second iteration was like uh, with the season marksman because this wing uh, this used to be just normal bribe it didn't give you any lightning round damage so it was season marksman at level twenty you would go for next frenzy just because that gave you the most damage it didn't make sense to go to go gathering storm just because you couldn't pick up the flow rider level thirteen just because you had thunder strikes here so I remember just going through just just um, theory crafting so many different versions of this build. And finally coming up with uh, coming up with the season marksman and Nexus Frenzy build, but no. Now we go for Wingman and then Epic Mount. Just I'll just allows you to uh, just stay so mobile on the map and just be so much used to your team. It's 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 crazy. It's crazy. Force is one of the one of the strongest level twenty heroes the best in the in the entire game just because of Epic Mount. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, it took me eight tries to get this video to you guys today. So, uh, first six was today morning, uh, and every single try I tried was I either got a bad team, I got disconnected, or something else happened. Apparently, in the EU servers, the, the, the disconnections are actually a big deal right now. I don't know why. 
and then uh, the the video be, uh, like the try before that. <laughs> see, see what I mean? Map download failed, and now I'm just I, I lost connection to to the bottleneck client. It's trying to it's trying to reconnect right now. I think um, I think the maintenance might be up. So anyway, we're gonna finish up this up on this screen. Uh, just. I just want to. I just want you guys to know how many tries it actually takes me. It takes me, and this is basically the reason why I'm not pumping out videos every single day now. It's basically just because it's much harder to get videos with the amount of players that came into the game that do not know the game, and I just want you guys to have the the highest quality. It doesn't have to be a win. I know the the wins are the most enjoyable to watch, uh, but again. It, it has to be certain quality for me to post. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to rate it. If you didn't like it, you know, you can always put that thumb down button. Tell me what did I do wrong? Was it boring? Or was I, I don't know, like hating kittens and shit? I don't know. All right, peace out. I'll see you in the next one.